Let's talk about accents. Let's talk about our lexicon. In many parts of the world, the accent, our dialect, well, they help define who we are. I'm a native New Englander, and many people here have made it part of their creed to drop their R's. In fact, John Stewart once joked that when John Adams wrote the Massachusetts Constitution, the delegates, well, they refused to ratify the letter R. I'm not just a cop. I'm a father, I'm a son, and above all, I'm from Boston. And the local accent, well, it's slowly disappearing, and that's really too bad. Despite the fact that most New Englanders don't have much of an accent, well, that Boston accent, that no R accent, it's very much part of the identity here. In fact, many people carry it as part of their swagger. I'm like the mayor of Dunkin's. This is the face of Dunkin' Donuts right there. Grab a Prola, have an extra large, three parliaments, take a big dump. That's kind of the routine. Yo, free coffee! I got the big one! I got a free coffee right there. People by nature are drawn to being part of large social groups. And for centuries, this has been defined by where we lived, the neighborhood that we live in. When you're part of a group, identity can be tied to your style of clothing, to the food you eat, and the language that you use. That group of people may also speak in a certain way, so distinctly that that accent, that language becomes part of your identity. In Boston, we have plenty of words that help define our identity. Pizza, or in extreme situations, wicked pizza. The blinka. The packy. The rotary. You might see the golden arches. We, we see McDanks. Tonic. The hoodsie. Jimmy's. The bubbler. Of course, dunks. Speaking of dunks. You a large regular, please? A large regular? Anything else? That's it, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. You too. It's a cold day to vlog. Oh. Of course, Hollywood loves a Boston accent as well. And as a New England native, this can be a cringe-worthy experience. Some of Hollywood's best actors have been brought to their knees trying to emulate the Boston accent. We looked at all possible candidates. You have an immaculate record. Some people don't trust a guy with an immaculate record. I do. All right, John. Let's call this what it is. You're jerking me off under the table to get the deal. Oh, Jimmy's business is Jimmy's business. It sure as hell ain't none of mine. We have two skiffs approaching with armed intruders. Potential piracy situation. Copy, Alabama. You should alert your crew and get your fire hoses ready. Uh, yeah, it, is that it? What am I gonna do? Call Cheese and be like, ah, you got my daughter? Because I just ripped you off and I'm just checking. Yeah! Uh -huh. Oh that. my god. Of course, the Boston accent's kind of a funny thing. Sometimes Hollywood does get it right and usually mix in some humor. Ah you or are you not a knack like Johnny Depp in 21 Jump Street ah oh, I see I see okay a, a narc a knack oh, yes 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 no, what, do you, I... what was I saying sadly linguists say that the very notion of a local accent is slowly becoming a thing of the past you see it takes generations of togetherness to create a local language, a local lexicon. And today people are far too transient. We consume the same media, the world is flat. And as a result, the very notion of the local accent is becoming a thing of the past. Boston just won't be the same when everyone speaks like they're from LA. Oh my gosh, Warner, it's going to be so great. I'm planning this great mixer. You totally have to help me. I'm thinking like a luau or maybe like casino night. This is going to be just like senior year except for funner. I mean, can you imagine Casey, Ben, Matt, or Mark speaking like that? Well, that's it for this video. I make regular videos. If you enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing to the channel or hitting that like button. 
I hope to see you in another video real soon. Take care and bye-bye. Bro, don't tell me to chill out because I'm cranked up, bro. And I know where you live, bro. And bro, I know where you work, bro. And bro, I know what you drive, bro. A Nissan Maxima, bro.